Hey there, TikTokers! Surely you were missing our adventures in the world of mythology, so don't despair. Today we'll be exploring the myth of Electra. Does our name sound familiar to you? Let's dive deep into Greek mythology once more to talk about Electra, who Homer describes as daughter of Agamemnon, king of Mycenae, and his wife, Queen Clytemnestra. For context, TikTokers, keep in mind that Clytemnestra was the sister of Helen of Troy. Surely you still remember our video about the Trojan War. Electra had two siblings, Orestes and Iphigenia. According to Homer's Iliad, her father, Agamemnon, offered Iphigenia as a sacrifice in exchange of protection on his way to Troy. As you can imagine, he wanted to go fight with his people after the war broke out. He was there for ten long years until the war was finally won thanks to the use of the Trojan horse, as you may remember. During his absence, his wife, the queen, was seduced by Aegisthus, who was only after wealth and power. They ended up becoming lovers. However, one day the king came back and took back control of his possessions and privileges as ruler. Aegisthus didn't like that at all, so he martyred the king as soon as he could. He wanted no obstacles on his path to power. And the worst part is that Clytemnestra was complicit in the martyr. It destroyed Electra's heart seeing how her mother played a role in the martyr of her father. And so she meticulously planned her revenge. She managed to send her brother, Orestes, who was still little, to a safe place. She left him under the protection of King Strophius and planned everything to end her mother's life once the right time came. And once Orestes was old enough, he went back to the city to help his sister fulfill her revenge. He would kill his mother and her lover in order to take the throne that once belonged to his father. He sneaked into the royal palace and managed to kill them both. However, even though he thought he was prepared for doing such a thing, it was not so. Seeing what he had done, Orestes became completely crazy. And according to some versions of the story, he couldn't stand it and took refuge at the Delphic Oracle. And even though both Orestes and Electra were judged, the gods forgave them because they knew they had to suffer the injustice of losing their father. But as you know, Tic Tacers, the story can change depending on the version. Shortly after, Electra married Pilates, son of King Strophius and friend of Orestes while he was with them. And believe it or not, even nowadays, specialists study Electra's behavior. In 1912, psychiatrist Carl Jung took inspiration from Electra to define what he called the Electra Complex. That Tic Tacers would be a female version of the Oedipus Complex, although with some differences. As you can imagine, the Electra Complex has to do with the strong love that a daughter can have towards her father. Just as the Oedipus Complex is about the love a son can have towards his mother. This complex has Electra's name because the love she had towards her father led her to kill her own mother. However, her story is only a myth and, in reality, in daily life, Jung believed that both the Oedipus and Electra complexes are usually common phases in the normal development of a boy or a girl. Moments in life where you feel more attached to one of your parents. And beyond psychology, the character of Electra has also appeared in literature and even European theatres. She gives name to the tragedies of Sophocles and Euripides, and appears in many other works. Were you familiar with the Electra complex tic-tackers? And what about her as a character from Greek mythology? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!